Okay, so this file is to help you get started with um, navigating the ODE website and getting standards and test questions for the OAA and OGT. Um, the first thing you want to do is go to the ODE website, and I've given you a link below. Um, you can also just go to Google and type in ODE, and it will take you to the same site. So I'm going to click on it right now, and I think it will take me out of the smart page, so I'm not going to click on it. When you click on that, you're going to get to the first page, which, which looks like this. And you're now at the ODE website. And you can see here that there's some different things you can do. Um, testing, teaching. See if I can find a marker here. Um, testing, teaching, school options, learning supports, improvement, finance data, career tech, accountability. We're going to kind of be sticking over here with um, testing. I'm going to go to the next page. Once you get to that page, um, I clicked on, let me go back for a second, um, oh, I'm going to show you how to get to the standards. So you scroll down, and when you scroll down to the bottom of the screen, you're going to see academic content standards, and you're going to click on that link right there. Okay? So, um, you click on that link and it's going to take you to this page. And on this page you're going to see academic content standards. And if you look down um, right here, you could click on that, but we're not going to click on that. We're actually going to go scroll down on the left hand side. And when you scroll down to science, um, you're going to see current science standards. So you click on science on the left hand side, you're going to be at a science page and you're going to click on current science standards. When you do that, it's going to pull up a PDF file and it's the whole standard. So if you have that green book, it's the same thing, only it's in a PDF format. So when you click on that, PDF format, and um, so I've pulled up the PDF file, and there's like 307 pages, and I just went to seventh grade. Um, if you look here, you can see the seven that's telling you the grade, and this is more towards the end of the book. And I like to use the end of the book better because um, all the standards are by grade level, so they're going to have um, earth and space, physical science, life science, um, scientific ways of knowing and science and technology. The one that I picked um, for us to look at is make a simple weather predictions based on changing cloud types and funnel systems. And what I'd like you to do for your lesson plans for each of the month is simply pick one and only one standard and teach to that standard. And if your students are at a lower level, um, that's fine if you want it to be, you know, even if they're high school students, but you feel they need something that's at a first grade standard, um, we can try and figure out if there's one that's at a first grade that would maybe compare to a high school standard. And I can help you with that, and I'm sure your mentor can as well. So if once you've picked your standard, which I picked, this one, make a simple weather predictions based on changing cloud types associated with funnel systems. Now you have to find a lesson plan. And one of the things you can do is go to the OD, go back to the ODE website. And so um, this thing is called getting to the instructional, it's called instructional management system. And I'm going to show you how to get a lesson plan there. So you're still at the ODE website, only I've gone back to the home page. And when you get here, um, we're going to look for a lesson. And instead of clicking on academic content standards, so we're at the bottom of the page, we scroll down again, we're going to click on instructional management system. And when you click on that, it's going to take you to a page that looks like this. Now on this page, you're going to notice that there's content area, grade level, keywords optional. 
and you're going to be clicking on lesson plans. But there's also assessments, standards, benchmarks, so you could also look within those. I don't use those a lot, and I don't actually use this part of the website as much anymore as I used to, but it's got a lot of um, good lesson plans for maybe to start off with, and it sounds to me like a lot of you are already teaching hands-on lessons, so this might be helpful for you. So when you click on that, um, so for what I'm doing, I put in um, science, and I put grade 7 and clouds. And then when I search on that, it's going to take me to lessons that I can um, click on. You can see that I can download a PDF. I can download it into a Word document. Um, or they have this little thing where you can add your lessons to a back backpack, which is kind of like saving your lessons. So um, we've figured out how to get to the ODU website. Look at the content. Uh, standards, which I just went to the older ones. If you're planning on transitioning to the new ones, um, you can check those out as well. They will be back there on that web page. Um, and then I showed you how to find a lesson on a subject that you're interested in, or a topic, or a standard. The final thing that um, you're going to look at this week is finding some pra practice tests. Um, there are past practice tests for ODE and the OAA. Um, third, fifth, no, they don't take a third grade. Fifth grade, eighth grade, and then, of course, the high school one. Um, when you click back to the home page, so I'm back at the home page now, and I want to find some past practice tests. I'm going to um, go over to testing, which is up here in the corner, right here, and it will bring a drop-down menu, and then I'm going to go to practice tests, oh, I'm sorry, either practice tests or actually released test materials is the main one that I go to, and that's going to give you all the past tests from whatever year they started doing that particular test. When you get there, you're going to see release test materials for the OAA. This is for the OAA. And, of course, this one's for the OGT. And when you click on those, I usually use the 3 through 8. So I click there, and you can see right here, science. They have all the past tests. And what I do is I click on them, I print them out, I read over them, go ahead and click on... Um, add this or print off the scoring guide as well and then what I do is I look through the tests and look for ones that match up with the topic or the standard that I'm teaching and that way I know what the students are going to be expected to know for the test and I can plan my pre-assessments and post-assessments accordingly. So for this week, um, I'd like you to just kind of navigate through these different things. Um, start thinking about what you want to do for your lesson plan for February. Talk it over with your mentor. And see if you can find one state question that would go along with what you want to teach. Because you really want to be teaching so that they can understand the questions that are going to be on the tests. And even if you um, don't have kids that are taking a state test, you can still use the state test questions to kind of modify and guide what you're going to be teaching. I hope this helps, and if you have questions, feel free to email me or post on the discussion. Thank you.